Hi, my name is Kyle Harrington, and I am a solutions engineer at Dynatrace. In this video, I'm going to provide you an overview of the Dynatrace platform. First and foremost, Dynatrace is a full stack monitoring tool, which is powered by our patented artificial intelligence engine, Davis. Dynatrace automatically instruments and monitors your front end web applications, the back end services that make up those applications, and the infrastructure components that those services run and depend on. Instead of your team spending their time configuring alerting thresholds, Dynatrace is generating baselines for your environment's performance and availability. So when you have issues that deviate from your normal performance and availability, Dynatrace will automatically generate problems, which are alerts that are based on anomalies in your environment. So what does that look like? This is the Dynatrace problem ticket. This is what issues look like in Dynatrace. Not a hundred spam email alerts or SMSs, not multiple alerts from your paging tool. What Dynatrace does is give you a single pane of glass for issues with your applications and infrastructure and provides you context. The Dynatrace problem ticket groups anomalies in your environment and locks you into a time premier issue. You can see that this particular issue was open for 54 minutes and affected real users. It also impacted five of your front end web applications, 16 of the back end services that make up those web applications, and three pieces of infrastructure which house those. Dynatrace also automatically highlights the business impact of the problem with context. Here's the problem, and here's how it's hurting your business. There are 616 end users or potential customers which are being impacted across almost 700,000 service calls. We can click on the user session infographic to provide some additional detail. Dynatrace allows you to drill down into the individual user sessions in the context of this problem. If we look into the top right, we can see that we are locked into the time frame of the issue and that will continue as we navigate through the problem ticket. At this user level view, Dynatrace can identify your users based on a login, email, or other metadata tag that you can define. We're also going to tell you where are your users coming from in the world, how many actions are being taken for each of your sessions, and more importantly, are your users experiencing errors or crashes? Dynatrace also lets you drill down into these individual user sessions. Let's take a look at Tammy. In Tammy's session, we can see that she had one session that was one minute and 21 seconds. We can also get some metadata from her. What operating system is she coming from? What browser is she using? Here's her public IP address. Dynatrace also provides you the actual click paths for these end users as they navigate through your website. Let's take a look at Tammy landing on your homepage. We can quickly see at a glance the server time, the network time, and the front end web response times. Further, we can also drill down on every single one of these sessions and take a look at the waterfall analysis. Let's go back to the problem ticket. Since Dynatrace has the data at the individual user level, we're also capable of providing deep insight at the macro level of your front end applications. As you can see here, Dynatrace is grouping five separate applications as part of this problem. There's two synthetic checks running against our actual web front ends. We're also gr grouping together three actual web front end web applications which are being affected by this problem. Note that the issue that these apps with these apps are all anomalies from a historical baseline. Looking at easytravel.com, the current response time of the web front end is 43 seconds, which exceeds our auto detected baseline of less than one and a half seconds. It's affecting 18 users' actions per minute against all browser types and all geolocations. Let's click into this infographic and get some more data. Dynatrace is highlighting that the core issue is load actions with this front end web application. Again, front end response time 43 seconds. From this view, we can also see that there's an impact of load actions with this web front end. We can also see the impact of user actions before, during, and after the problem. And we're grouping together availability information across your synthetic checks. We've also got the top user actions which are being observed and the top web front end errors. Dynatrace is providing you a holistic view of your application's health and performance on the web front end. Let's go back to that problem ticket. I mentioned earlier that Dynatrace is a full stack monitoring tool. Dynatrace is leveraging AI to understand and correlate the connectivity and dependencies throughout your environment. This is the Dynatrace visual resolution path. This is a visual representation of the service call dependencies from the web front end to the back end services that are being called. 
But more specifically, this view is the chain of applications and service calls that failed or were impacted in the context of the problem as it evolved. We can see here at the height of this problem that Dynatrace has identified 128 issues. With traditional monitoring tools, that's 128 emails, pages, or alerts that your team is going to need to sift through to begin troubleshooting an issue. Dynatrace is correlating all of those issues for you into a single problem, which will then trigger a single alert. Let's go back to the problem thing. Again, Dynatrace is leveraging AI to understand the dependencies of your environment. In this problem, our AI Davis has analyzed the 1.5 billion dependencies across the affected components and user sessions in this problem. What this means for your business is that through AI, Dynatrace will automatically provide you the root cause of problems. Right at the top of this problem ticket, Dynatrace has identified the single process group, which is the root cause of this issue. Underneath this process group is a hierarchy of the problems within this process group. We see some deployment changes, which I'm going to come back to in a minute. We also see response time degradations and CPU saturations. CPU saturation or high CPU use is what you get out of traditional monitoring tools. But what does a high CPU alert mean to your business? An alert without context is just noise. In Dynatrace, high CPU is a symptom of another problem. Looking at this root cause hierarchy, there are multiple response time issues causing high CPU. Let's take a look at the check destination service. This view in Dynatrace provides service and code level data. These are gonna be your internal applications, your jar files, your Node.js apps, your Docker, or Kubernetes containers. We can see in this view that we're still locked into the time frame of our problem and that the response time of almost eight seconds of this service exceeds our observed baseline for this service of 129 milliseconds. Dynatrace is also logically grouping together the instances of the same application running on different hosts. We're also gonna provide code level performance data from this view. Since we know this is a response time issue, let's look at the response time metrics. Dynatrace is going to show you the response time before, during, and after the problem window. And we can see here that our response time is higher than normal, reaching almost 30 seconds at peak. If we take a look at the failure rate of our service, though, there's nothing. The calls in the service aren't failing. However, we are seeing that the CPU is pretty high. If we go back to our response time, we can use Dynatrace to analyze the response time degradation. Immediately, Dynatrace is going to show that the increased response time of four seconds is not related to any external services or external database calls. This response increase is all at the code execution of this single service. So let's go look at the code execution. In this view, Dynatrace is analyzing the individual Java method call. Dynatrace is providing anomaly and error analysis down to the line of code level. Since Dynatrace can drill down to these lines of code, we can pinpoint the problems in your code to provide actionable data to your development teams. And speaking of your development teams, let's go back to the service level. Dynatrace also reports on events like process crashes. Looking at the events related to this service, we can see that at 2255, there was a deployment made. This just so happens to be exactly two minutes before this problem ticket opened. So let's go back to the problem ticket. As I said earlier, CPU saturation is only a symptom of response time degradation. But response time degradation is only a symptom of bad code deployment to this service and its logical process group. If you were leveraging a modern deployment tool like Ansible, Harness, or Jenkins, this Dynatrace kit alert could be used to initiate an automatic rollback of this deployment, which means that this problem isn't open for 54 minutes. It doesn't impact 600 of your real customers, and your tech ops teams continue to focus on their core responsibilities instead of putting out this fire. This is what Dynatrace is all about, letting the machines monitor the machines because simply put, they're better at it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you're ready to try this out for yourself, you can go to dynatrace.com trial and sign up for a free 15-day trial of our platform. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly at kyle.harrington at dynatrace.com. Thanks.